to get started, select All Axis and click on Start Origin Return. Then, click on Go Vertical. Insert the USB drive. Then click on the Machining tab up on the top. Now, click on Open File, click Refresh, and then select the drawing. Then, click on Simulation, and then click on Background Simulation. To change the parameters, click on Parameter Setting. After setting the parameters, press background simulation one more time, then press cutting simulation. Now, we are going to start wire threading. Thread the wire as shown. Make sure that the copper wire presses onto the wire threading slot as shown. Next, move the machine head in position for threading. Click on manual wire threading, then press water or air. Then, press the green button as shown when the threading process is done. Now, move the machine head to the cutting position. Set the Z limit. The distance between the upper nozzle and the workpiece is 0.3 millimeters. Make sure that the water pressure of both sides are within the range of 13 to 15 kilograms. Securely close the door. Now press soaking. Press wire, water, EDM, and cycle start. As you can see, the highlighted S11 code has reset the cutting parameter number 11. After it's finished, file the piece with a copper rod. Make sure to pay attention to the water, wire, and EDM while machining. First, let's discuss about the water. As mentioned earlier, the water pressures on both sides have to be equal to each other and have to be within 13 to 15 kilograms. If not, adjust the height of the z-axis. If the pressure of the filter from the water tank is higher than 2.5 kilograms, please replace the filter. Now, let's talk about the wire. Make sure that the age of the wire is within 6 months from its production. This is very important as the quality of the wire affects the tolerance of the machine. Lastly, let's discuss the EDM itself. Check the conductive blocks in both the upper and lower machine heads. Please replace the conductive block if it's over damaged. The conductive block affects the stability of the electric discharge.
Now, make sure that the gap voltage is around 50 volts and the water resistance is within 50 to 100 kilo ohms.